Hello, and welcome to an unboxing video for Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 3. Uh, as you can see, I've pulled out the cool airbag stuff. That's not where I'm going for, though. What I'm going for is in here. Jump cut! Ta-da! This. See, Naruto... See, it's the True Despair edition. If you can find a more emo name, I'll give you a prize. This is the box. Uh, shows everything you get, the statue, the poster, the DLC, the card, the soundtrack and the game. Of course I'll show you all that in a second. I apologise for the lighting. I really can't get any better lighting here. Uh, is that the Rikage? Oh yeah, these are the old Rikage in there. Ah, okay. So they're going with the anime storyline of the resurrected Kages and such. As opposed to, apparently the manga doesn't have that. That's uh, Toby's back thingy, I think. I'll take the plastic off in a second. Okay, this is a better look at the book uh, at the box now, because all the cellophane's off, so there's less shine on it. Um, oh, they're the QB. Um, well, the people with the other tails in them. She's the Seven Tails, I believe. Uh, he's pretty cool. I, I think that's the Five Tails, or the Six Tails. And anyway, basically he's a big samurai guy. On the other side, we get, as I said, the um, Kazes, the Mizukage, the Raikage, uh, Gara's father stuff. The back, that's clearer to see. Um, True Despair, Collector's Inlay and stuff. Yeah, okay, cool. We'll see you in a second. The top is arty stuff. That's the bottom. It is years 12. Right. Okay, that comes off very easily. No. Ah, okay. Well, let's get the boring stuff out of the way. Let's just get the game out. Although, I say the boring stuff. That's a pretty fucking cool cover. Um... Obviously, I, there are three versions. There's the regular version, there's the Will of Fire version, and there's the True Despair version. Um, so I'm guessing the Will of Fire one will have um, Naruto in his um, Nine Tails coat, like the glowy stuff. And this has Toby. Um, I want to say Toby. I mean, there's another name people use, but that may be a spoiler. So I'll stay away from that, to those who don't know. Feel the despair. Free true. Yeah. Feel true despair. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sure that says something. I'll read that later. I may take the selfie off. Um, but yeah, that's that's a pretty cool cover. That does it say in the spine? There's the true despair. No, nope, just there is Ninja Storm three. Okay, that's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm happy with that already. I'll leave the game there. Hmm. Next up. Oh, is the poster. Okay, I'll fold the post out in a bit, because uh, it's double-sided, and it's huge. This is really big. Um, way bigger than I expected, actually. I expected an A4. This is probably an A3 or something. Okay. Next. The soundtrack. Ah, oh, with Toby's Rinnegan mask. I call it the Rinnegan mask. I'm not even sure what the true term for it is, but it's after we get to the Rinnegan. Which I'm sure is not a spoiler, because if you're thinking of playing this game, you're probably up to the anime part. Uh, the fourth Hokage... Oh, oh right, yes, because this deals with Naruto's father. Um, yeah, there's like 15 tracks, and oh, oh, that's cool. It's got all the village symbols on it. Uh, yeah, what does the disc look like? Oh, the disc is very... Yeah, I meant to do that. I wonder, do you get a different soundtrack with Will of Fire edition? I'd imagine you don't, actually. Um, if the soundtrack is particularly good or particularly bad, I'll probably put up an update review on the soundtrack itself. Um, right. I'll, I'm will i going to leave the camera for a second and put this back. Uh, so there'll be a jump cut. Prepare for it. Jump cut! Okay, then. Um, you get this card, which is... Shiny. Oh, no, sorry. Um, This may be the DLC. I don't think it is, actually. But basically, it's 
Naruto in Goku from Dragon Ball Z's like clothes basically. Um, I'm aware there's a Naruto card game because with the special edition of um, Ultimate Ninja Storm 2 there was a weird card game collectible version where like you could get loads of cards or a deck or a booster pack or something like that. Anyway, I'm sure this is a, you know, proper card game. I probably wouldn't get into it myself. Though, you know, I, I guess I'd maybe buy a pack or two for like the art or whatever. Um, on the back, obviously, that's pretty cool. It's shiny. It's Naruto and Goku's wear, so that's pretty cool. Um, it's German. Uh, okay, well, that's nice. I mean, I don't particularly mind there is in German. I can read German, sort of. I mean, it's a bit rusty, but I know it. Uh, but yeah, okay, well, that's kind of cool. That's pretty rare, I guess. Um, yeah, I'd imagine this is exclusive to the game. That's pretty cool. Okay, um, right, I'm going to pull this box out now. But before I show you the box, I'm going to check there's nothing else. Oh, there is something else. There's another, there, there's two cards. Okay, I spent all that time looking at narrators. Okay, I have three of them. Huh. Oh wait, are these different languages, I wonder? That seems... Uh, oh, that may be French. Maybe. I'm sorry if it's not French and you can read that and it turns out to be something else. Ah, okay. Unique training. This ninja is healed. Place a plus one, plus one coin on it. That's nice. Well, admission, discard a Naruto Uzumaki ninja card from your hand. Heal this ninja, which is Naruto Uzumaki. So, discard him to heal him. I don't know, I really don't know the rules of this game. It seems interesting, but yeah, okay, so basically I get three of the same cards, but they're different languages. That's a bit odd. I mean, I think the backs are the same. Yeah, okay. Um... Yeah, that that's the aspect of the game that I don't actually um the, of this collection that I don't actually remember reading much about just the cards. Um still, they're pretty cool. I like collectible cards. Right. This is Sasuke. But wait. I say but wait, there's there's not actually more, it's just Sasuke. But there are also figures there. There's Itachi, uh Minato, Deidara and Gara. That's cool. Ooh, Didara is really cool, actually. I'm assuming this is from a specific collection. Um, coming soon. Ooh, coming soon. Okay. Yeah. But this does seem to be... Oh, no. Is this Japanese? I think it is. That seems to be in Japanese. So does that. Figurine Shinobi Relations, Sasuke. Shinobi Relations. Uh, well, they formed the alliance in the anime. I guess that's a pretty big... Relation between the villages. Right, I'm gonna need a knife to cut this uh, open. So apparently, it's just tracked that bit of kanji as a face. My camera, which is kind of weird. Anyway, another jump cut. Prepare for it. Okay, jump cut. Uh, this is the box. I haven't actually pulled him out of the box. That's maybe not the best plan. I apologise for the bad angle. I am, however, still talking to you, so that makes up for it. Ah, there he is. Look. Uh, with his sword? Without his sword, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to pull him out of this, and then another jump cut, I'm sorry. I am back, and this is Sasuke. I mean, you're aware of who he is, I'm sure. Yeah, that was an accidental zoom there. Um, his hair is exactly as I'd imagine it. His sword, you can take out and move. Um... Which is pretty cool. Um, he has the... I call them the Orochimaru ropes, but I'm sure there's an actual name for them. Yeah, because it's not just the evil guys in this that wear it. Anyway, ah, that's the hilt for the sword behind him. So, that's, you know, attention detail. Now, one thing I noticed about this guy, he's kind of shiny. Like, these robes he's wearing... 
Also, that seems to have accidentally slipped down his left arm. This is totally not for the service of the fangirls or anything, of course. <laughs> fangirls for Sasuke, who'd imagine? Anyway, uh, actually this is pretty cool from this angle, it looks like his sword is shining. Um, that's mainly because this camera is not too great. But, the stand is good, it's solid, you, his feet fit perfectly into it. This is a properly nice statue, like... I ordered it partly for the statue, but then didn't expect much, because I'd ordered a very small figure of um, Sassery once, and it turned out to be pretty good, but, you know, it was decent. But this, um, it's made by Gakupon, I think. Maybe I'm pronouncing that wrong. Gachupon? I don't know. Either way, this is very detailed. You can see his collarbone there, which is pretty good. Uh, you know. Face is modelled, I'd imagine, as well as you can do. He doesn't look happy, but then he is Sasuke, so... He never looked happy even when he was happy, really. Um, yeah, even the full... Wow! Okay, there's detailing on the zips there. That's impressive. Um, I wonder, does the sword fit into there? After I look at this, um, I'll... Obviously, sort of do a few things. I'll show you the poster in full. I'll put all of these out so you can see exactly what you get with this set. Um, and then try and I'll try and angle it so the light is a bit better, maybe. Uh, yeah. Okay. So prepare for another jump cut. Okay. Just an idea of the um, poster. It's huge. It's poster side sized, and also it's double sided. So. No, it actually says Shippuden. I'm used to seeing it in Japanese. Anyway, that's the other side. Toby. And his bass guitar, whatever the fuck that is. True Despair. It's pretty cool. Probably going to put this side up because uh, I don't mind Kabuto, but you know. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to lay them all out now. Well, like in the package you'd get really to give you uh, an idea of what you get so jump cut again okay I've changed the lighting a bit uh, so this is everything you get statue CD game cards and poster um, something I may not have mentioned you also get the uh, Goku costume DLC which I'm assuming is in the game um, here which actually, I'll check, hang on. Okay, I'm glad I actually opened this, because there's a few things. First of all, we get the disc. Um, this is the standard disc, I'd imagine, for all of them. Which is fine, I don't really mind about the art. Um, DLC code for the Goku costume, also um, a code you can enter at Namco Bandai to get, from what I can tell, very briefly. Either an art book or a pack of figures, which is pretty cool. Um, then, obviously, there's this. Also, reversible inside, because we had this cover, and we also have, if I pull this out briefly, this cover, which seems to be the same. Oh, okay, it has no age rating on it. I guess. And no text. Oh, okay, essentially, basically, if you don't want it to look like a game, but just like your own custom disc thingy, then yeah. I may flip it over, looks pretty cool. Um, has a sort of feel to it, I guess. Um, but yeah, okay, well, basically rating time, whilst I slowly spin Sasuke so you can look at the picture quality of him. Picture quality? Model quality. Anyway, um, I'd give this package a 9.5 out of 10. Um, the, only, the only drawback is the price, I find. Um, it was £75 Zavi. 
Um, and I think Xavi was the only place to get the True Despair version. I saw the Will of Fire version, like, everywhere. I think it's on Game, Amazon, um, a few places. But yeah, well, essentially, I'm happy I got this version. Rather than the other version. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd highly recommend this. If you have the money, obviously, and if you really, really do like Naruto, then I suggest this. I mean, I'm sure the Will of Fire version is lovely as well. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Naruto, as in he's shown so often that it's kind of boring to have him as a statue. Um, but yeah, really high quality thing, um, statue. The poster's good. The trading cards are a nice little addition. Soundtrack I'm excited about. And the DLC and the game, of course. So, thank you for watching, and I may be doing a Let's Play series of this game, as I've bought a video capture card recently, so here's hoping it'll work out. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.